What two jobs are fine on their own but suspicious if you work both of them? Doctor and funeral parlor owner, police constable and court judge, bartender and substance abuse counselor. A friend of mine held both at the same time. A chemistry teacher and a car wash owner, financial advisor and debt collector, day trader and being a member of Congress Wait, the owner of a hospital near me, got his wife in charge of the city's parking spaces. Needless to say, parking at that hospital is no problem. But anywhere else is hell. Some lay and stay at home mom, midwife and consultant at an adoption agency. If you're dating anybody that works for in these professions, I need you brothers to keep your guard up. I want you to watch out because probably if you're married, all right, you're dating or you're talking to someone that has this profession, odds are they have a high probability of being a promiscuous woman. You better have your guard up in these situations. Now, if you were a brother out here that wants to go out there and meet these particular type of women, if they have this profession again, high probability that they are in not of good repute. So you might want to keep your eye open if you're looking to hit up any of one of these type of women. The first person is an attorney. All right, ladies in the legal profession, man, lawyers are not to be trusted at all. They have to lie to survive. They lie more than everyone else. Do of this, people refer to them as attorneys or liars, whichever you like. These people are skilled liars. They are paid to tell lies. They are paid extremely well to lie. These particular women may be feminists who prefer to spend the entire day outside. They are working tirelessly. Yes, they are grinding. Networking is going on. They are attempting to gain an advantage over the competitors, and they have no qualms about raising their legs in order to do so. If they are attorneys, chances are they will occasionally go up to the blue collar worker and get ramrodded. I'm good by Chad and Tyrone, as they have been a bulldog and have been powerful and aggressive all day. They want to let their hair down and be dominated by someone. They don't want to constantly exert dominance. The likelihood is that if you're dating an attorney, you should keep your guard up in these circumstances because lawyers who represent women often have a thinking speed. The next one is that educators, such as teachers, spend their entire days dealing with children. They require some energy, and their sexual energy has been accumulated and developed in the back of their minds. Because they deal with children all day, they have to put that on the back burner of their minds. But in the end, some ladies can be very simple. They want to relax and become ramrod, is it correct? They want to accept Chad and Tyrone's stabbing. So be careful, men. And as you can see, all of the teachers who are coming forward, female teachers who have been having affairs with middle school boys, are falling in love with the boys, sending them sexual photographs via text message and being knocked up by them. What is happening outside? These instructors are. Okay, so if you're out there, you're in a minefield of a dating situation, or you're married to a teacher, you'd best be on your alert. She could very well be a thought. There's little doubt about that. Okay, the next career is that of secretaries or executive assistants, as they are now known. These executives in their firm are accessible to these women, and they have no trouble approaching them at their desk and whispering something in their ears. Taking them on business trips, flying them to Las Vegas, and taking them out to lunch. I need my executive assistant to record some dictation or take some notes for me. You see what I mean. So watch out for those secretaries or executive assistant. They have a high probability of being a bad woman. Now, the next one, bartenders or servers, waitresses, bottle servings, nighttime entertainers, dancers, go-go, girls, whatever. High probability of being a bad woman. These women are getting hit on by probably more than any women out there combined. All right. These men are pushing on these women all day long, and if they're serving men all day long, they're bringing drinks. They certainly are getting pitched to, all right. They're working late night hours, they're at the club. They have to work bottle service and wear that skinny black. These are high probabilities of being the bad woman. Now, they could be a good girl in that particular profession, but they are seeing so much cock pass to them all right. They don't have no choice but to do double backflips on them. 
So if you are a woman wants to go into one of these industries, just know they'll probably have to wear a tip shirt, but just know that they have a high probability of being going down the wrong road. All right, the next one, real estate agents, realtor. These women dress up all day long so they can work two or three hours a day. All right, shout out all to my real estate agents. I have a real estate license myself, so I've worked with a lot of realtors. They sometimes, realtors' lifestyle is very flimsy, all right. They might go to work for two hours, and then the rest of the day they're out looking at property, and then they get lost by noon. All right. By noon, they're drinking wine, and they got their legs up trying to get a leg up on the competition. All right. So be careful out there. They will do anything. If you're dating someone, a woman who is in the real estate industry, keep your guard up. There is a high probability of her being a bad woman. All right, the next one. And we're getting down to the nitty gritty right here. All right. The next one is stay at home moms or single moms. Any one of those mom situations where the mom necessarily doesn't work or she is a stay at home. They have a high probability of being a bad woman just because of the availability. Now, I'm not saying that they are because at most point, if you want a traditional wife, most of the time they might stay loyal to you. However, they are exposed to a lot of individuals that have a lot of time on their hands to lay some sex down. They're exposed to personal trainers, massage therapists, contractors, all of these UPS deliveries. All right, people at the grocery store, they have come in contact all day with individuals who want to lay some pipe and they have no problem laying pipe on a woman who is already committed to someone else. So be on the lookout for stay-at-home mothers. Those single mothers should be avoided. On their forehead, they already have a tattoo of AMA the Wicked Woman. Tyrone or Chad have already had children with her, therefore they have no difficulty making you the third father in their family. So be on the lookout for those certain types of women. A hairdresser, renowned in the field, they resemble the women who live on the opposite side of the rails. They frequently have tattoos, piercings in their noses, and wild hair colors. For the most part, they tend to be peculiar. If you are dating a hairstylist in this case, you need to be aware that she smokes a lot of pipe. She's done a lot of double back flips because that's all they talk about in their little hair. Little circle right there that everybody that got their little hair booth they're all talking about all the people that they're doing. Monkey double back flips on right. That's the reality. You the situation. So beware of these hairdressers because they are some of the weirdest people you will ever meet. They must be insane, right? And everyone is aware that a good peace leave is when a crazy woman is involved. So you're going to enjoy yourselves. But Oza, you run a good chance of having the tires on your important vehicle slashed.